One Minute Franchise TV on his YouTube channel, I'll Unbox Anything. Today, I'm going to make some of the viewers very happy. So I've been reached out to, honestly, several dozen times so far through email and my whatnot live auctions. People are, are asking me, where are your wrestling subscription mystery box videos? And I haven't done any for about four months now, maybe going on five. But I kept telling people I just needed a small break from the subscription boxes because once you've been doing the same thing over and over and over for literally like four or five years straight, you get kind of like a mental burnout. And I just needed a, I just needed a little break from the subscription box. So I took that little break. But now I actually do have like, I think the past either four or possibly five months of the pro wrestling crate. I've got three, maybe four months of the wrestle crate UK. And I have the last two AEW boxes. So I grabbed one of each. I think these actually might be the most recent ones from June. I think it is, but so I'm actually going to be playing catch up on the next several weeks and might do like two boxes a week and like one video kind of start playing catch up a little bit so if you've been missing these boxes we're going to catch up anyway first one the all elite crate this one's actually a little bit more expensive remember correctly it's every quarter and i think it's like 40 bucks a quarter they actually just charged me a couple a couple days ago for like the entire next year's quarter. So i think it's like 40 bucks a month or not month every quarter Go around the top is probably gonna be the cheat sheet, and it is okay. Cheat sheet, other side of this card contains a spoiler for this crate. We don't want to see that yet at this time. Okay, we have a sticker that is CM Punk sticker. What's that? I, think I feel another sticker. It, ah, it fell. Okay, let me pull up the first t shirt. Oh, that's very blue. I can't wear this kind of a blue, it just does not look good on me. Let me show you the shirt first. Let's see what we're looking like. Is it awesome? We have, oh, we have old school WCW Sting. I like the graphic. Too bad it's not on a black t-shirt. That would have looked very, very nice on a black t-shirt. But, yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of Sting, especially old school WCW Sting, that's actually not a bad shirt right there. What size is it even? Uh, 4XL. A lot of these times I'll get 4XL and these kind of t-shirts because some of these shirts shrink a lot the first time that you wear them. But this shirt, I honestly probably won't keep it. Not the biggest Sting fan. I've actually met Sting, but not the biggest Sting fan, especially, I can't, I can't wear blue. I'm just not a, a blue kind of wearing guy. Here you go. The sticker that fell. Oh, CM Punk. Okay, so we have two CM Punk stickers. Let's see, what is this? Oh, here's the micro brawler. Oh, the back says Jungle Boy. This is, what's his name? Luke Perry. This is Luke Perry's son, Jungle Boy. I'm pretty sure this is his first micro brawler also. Look at that. 5'10", 190 pounds. Not a very big guy, but extremely athletic. That's pretty cool, though. There might be chases available in that. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, here is the monthly pin. We have... Oh, Jamie Hater. Hater hits hard. I'm not a pink collector, or I don't collect these. Those things will be available in, in my eBay, actually. It's the other t-shirt. We have a black one this time. Nice. We got a black t-shirt. Hopefully, it's a cool graphic. We have... Oh, is that MJF? I kind of like that. That's not too bad. Kiss the Ring MJF. That's not bad. That's not bad. Basic shirt, black with just a basic white design on it. That's not bad. I might keep it, might sell it. Not too sure. I have like a hundred t-shirts right now. I haven't even worn yet. Like brand new shirts. I'm very selective of which shirts I keep now. I got some socks. Who we have? Who's that? It's like all, it's all like tied down in there. Tag team edition. I'm guessing that's the acclaimed maybe. Maybe. 
take a guess on that one. I think it's the acclaimed. Here we go. We have, we've got a poster. Like that's the top of it. We got Chris Jericho and Orange Cassidy. And here's the bottom of the poster. Okay. That should be about it. Oh, no, hold on. We have, what is this? Almost looks like Bullet Club a little bit, but obviously it's not Bullet Club. Oh, there we go. There we go. What does that say? Dem Boys. Oh, it's the Briscoes. We got the flag for the Briscoes. That's kind of cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see, is that it? Yep, here you go. Oh, there's another sticker, I think. Another punk sticker. Here you go, autograph. I'll show you first. Maybe. We have... We got Powerhouse Hobbs. I actually don't have his autograph. First autograph of that gentleman right there. Okay. Uh, this box wasn't my favorite one. I don't think there's honestly there's probably nothing from this box I'm gonna keep for my personal collection. Um, maybe the autograph. I'm not a huge fan of his work, but I don't think there's anything that I'm probably not gonna keep anything from this box. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I get a sub subscription box and just nothing really grabs my fancy and I sell everything on eBay. So everything in this box will be for sale in my eBay store. Should be a direct link down below in the description box of the video for my eBay. So every, everything in this box will probably will probably be available for sale. Here we go, Pro Wrestling Crate. Of course, I don't know which month this one is, but we're gonna find out. This might be the newest one. Kind of tops the cheat sheet. Okay, that is the right side. So it says. The, of course, the bath month has all spoilers. Next month's crate is the black and white edition. We've got an NWO, looks like. Randy Savage, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, Buff Bagwell, Scott Steiner, Eric Bischoff, X-Pac, and a special three feet by two feet. Here we go. First t-shirt, black t-shirt. Very nice. What we got? Is it awesome? We've, oh, Jeff Hardy. That is in your face. This reminds me of those old 1996 Dennis Rodman t-shirts that uh, Nike made. They were all white and, and the back had his face in different color hair. That reminds me a lot of the Dennis Rodman shirt. That is very in your face, Jeff Hardy. I like Jeff Hardy, but I won't keep that t-shirt. I, I would never wear it. Would never wear it. Here we go, let's do the micro brawler. Here it is, micro brawler. We've got Hayabusa. I probably said that not 100% accurate. Hayabusa. These do have chase variations, which is possible. Obviously, did not get one. The AEW box, I didn't even look at the actual, the back of it. The AEW box, the Jungle Boy didn't have a chase available. Mine was not the chase. So, there are chases available for this. I did not get the chase for that one either. Go back in. Here we go. Oh, we have a patch. FTR patch. Then we have the pin. We oh um, Sheeta pin. Okay, like I said I don't, I don't collect pins. So far, everything in this box will be for sale on my eBay store. Go. Last T-shirt. It's an also black one. That's a good sign. Come on, something awesome. We have oh Will Osprey. That's not bad. I'm not the biggest Will Osprey fan. I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, he's does good work in the ring and all but i'm just not a huge osprey fan so i i won't be keeping that so far everything in this video will be for sale in my ebay store everything here we go we have oh we have a lanyard or not lanyard, but like a um, a key lanyard that says pro wrestling tees on it is that it last item we got the autograph come on somebody i really like and would like to keep We have, oh, Chavo Guerrero Jr. I already have his autograph a few times on other 
pictures, but I like that picture better than the ones that I currently have because of the WCW NWO. A lot of us wrestling fans back in the 90s, WCW and NWO should have split into two separate companies. I think that would have actually made WCW, they'd probably still be around to this day. if Because the NWO got too big, half of the freaking roster was in the NWO. Take that roster, split it off to a totally different, like a, you know, kind of like an AWROH, but a WCW NWO. Like, I guarantee you, WCW would still be around today if they would have done that. I guarantee it. So I have, like I said, I think four more Pro Wrestling Crates AEW box, and I think three or four WrestleCrate UK boxes playing catch up. So next week, I'll do a couple more. I'll see you then. <laughs>